Mission failed. Incoming message.
Okay, so I just realized that uh, I did not have my mic turned on, so oh, I will apologize. Um, very sorry about that. Let's get throttled up and I'll, uh, I will cover what, uh, I'll cover what you missed and uh, that kind of thing, so. Basically, I said welcome back, and I'm hoping that uh, most of you are watching this because you got notified by a notification from uh, either Twitch or YouTube. If not on Twitch, make sure you hit the follow, and then on YouTube, on YouTube, hit that uh, hit that uh, notifications so that you get notified. And uh, then hit that subs well, you gotta hit the subscribe first. But so uh, if you get that done, then uh, then you get notified and you can follow along with uh, with this gameplay. Oh, another one. Let's see, flying an adder. Well, let's see if he interdicts us or not. But anyway, so uh, hopefully you're you're following along and it's uh, it's enjoyable. But, um, yeah, I was, uh, what you may have seen is I was looking at the ships. And I mentioned, uh... Potentially getting a, uh, a dolphin so that we can do passenger missions, and uh, the reason for that is that the uh, the dolphin is about a fifth of the cost of the uh, the Asp Explorer, so that would, might be a good go between something we can uh, shoot for and then we can do some passenger missions, and I can kind of get everybody filled in on that. So that may be something that uh, we do in the near future. Kind of depends. Um, but I'm kind of leaning that way right now, to be honest. So I did pick up uh, a couple of missions. It doesn't look like there's a lot from uh, from that station. Looks like a lot of it's uh, combat and uh, that kind of thing. So it may be difficult for us to get the reputation up there. And uh, I'm thinking that doing the, um, the passenger missions might actually accelerate that or make it easier to do it from that station. So... That's something that, uh, that I'm considering also. Or I should say another reason why I'm considering it. Oh, come on. You might be asking if you've seen the, uh, the previous episode why it is that I'm not running, uh, running the loop. Well... The loop is, uh, does it make good credits? Yeah. Is it, uh, a pain in the neck grind to do that gets boring and old really fast? Also, yeah. So, I mean, if it's something I'm enjoying doing, I, 
Run button. I usually don't mind doing it for for uh, a little bit, but. Uh, All right, where's our landing pad? Oh. Oh no, we're on going to one. a little bit further away and then we can uh, get down into that butter zone on our our speed and see if we can't find this dang thing. I bet that's it right there. Now if you look and you see the arrows that's usually your indicator of which side you need to come in on. I'm not sure why they do that. Oh, that is not it. Zero one, there we go. Dolphin was a little over 1.3 million. So we have to see about that. Come on. And the reputation is the same all across the board. Modified consumer firmware is a little bit harder to, to come by, but we don't need it just yet. So we may see about uh, getting that later. So for now, we're gonna take the credits. Uh, let's see if we got anything going to Coco Gina. Tony illegal box. Cut through it up in this joint. Trying to find missions and not being able to find anything. Nothing lucrative or worthwhile, really, anyway. Alright. So be it. Another set of them on. Tall dog. This thing's taking forever to accelerate.
that gravitational pull, we were all the way up to 56. <laughs> uh, don't know if I've seen it get that high before, especially with just being at 75% throttle. That's kind of ridiculous. So yeah, sorry about the uh, the silence there at the beginning of this video, but uh, like I said, it's going to be unedited, so it's going to make it. I'm not trimming any of it off. <laughs> oh, come on. I think they call this one Tall Dot because it takes a great deal of patience and tolerance to get there. Sidewinder. Okay. There we go. Forty-eight thousand or the rep. on this one. Massacre and illegal stuff. Federal Navy supply mission. 526,000. That would be nice. That's too bad. We'll find one eventually where we can actually uh, complete it. into some community goals over at it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so if you get stuck like this, cycle the landing gear. <laughs> uh. 
That was rather unexpected. Oh well. Uh, we're gonna have to go around this stupid planet. Alright, fair enough. Oh, so let me show you this. So here's behind the planet. So if we hit V, destination target obscured. You cannot do it. So that's why there's a frame shift and a super cruise. So that's the B option. V is uh, next or uh, jump to next target, and uh, B is engage uh, frame shift drive, i.e. super cruise. And this is just uh, the center button on my mouse. All you gotta do is, since we're jumping to a different system, all you gotta do is wait for, for it to not be behind the planet. Here we can hit V. We'll let it come out a little bit, and then we'll go for it. So we're not uh, getting knocked out of orbit if we get too close to the planet that we're right next to. Make sense? Okay. questions or uh, anything that you might have for me in the, uh, the chat if you're here in my Twitch. Otherwise you can uh, feel free to put it in my comments on my YouTube channel.
there it is. Didn't see it for whatever reason. Let's look at the passenger lounge real quick. See, uh, see whether I think this is going to be lucrative or not. All right. So obviously, some of these are going to be way off. Requirements not met. Requirements not met. Wow, I don't remember him being this stingy. Huh. Oh, I bet it's can't be all reputation. Yeah, maybe it can. So it looks like we get to do some more missions first. If possible. <laughs> we may have to just do some changing up and just actually go for some of these uh, other attack boxes or... So let's see. Yeah, might as well mix it up a little bit, right? Get creative with it. I think we'll start from the top down though. At least get the controlling faction under... Uh... So let's take a look. Massacre, Pirates, that's a bigger goal. Actually, let's look at community goals. Federal Operation Against the League of Reparation. Okay. There's 400,000 credits and some goal awards. Alright, let's see what this is about. I'm going to assume you can read, so I'm just going to kind of read through it a little bit. I do read slow, so uh, you may have to bear with me. <laughs>
Okay, so we gotta register first, huh? Let's see just how far away that is. Nothing? Really? Or did I spell it wrong? I-E-N Palang. Gotcha. Yen Palang. That is 167 light years across. What was the name of that uh, station here? Brundage City. Let's plot her out just to see how far it is. Thirteen jumps. Hmm, that's not too awful. So it's combat? Sign up as an active participant. Yeah, let's give it a try. Minimum is 400,000. Alright, so let's go down there and uh, see what's up. sure that we can get to a million credits and in, uh, in relative ease for the uh, well 1.3 anyway so hard points let's see we got those utility I didn't have well, I sure don't ah there's what we want kill warrant scanner this can get pricey, huh? 2,000, 25, 3. Wow, it only does 4. That's awful. Alright, let's see about this uh, jump drive first. I could sell it to twenty three. It also breaks the bank. I'm not sure it's how it's figuring I have the credits for one point six. That'll leave us really short. Ah, oh, that's a hard one.
All right, so we're in the hole. So we don't want to die or lose the ship. Let's, uh, we got 44,000. Let's see if we can't get a mission real quick that'll pay us uh, a couple hundred thousand. We can get uh, back on our feet and simultaneously do that while heading down there. Something simple, preferably. Nope. Federal Navy strike under lock and key. Shocker. Do that. that. Sounds like an uh, interesting time. Okay, so they're out of the way, but... <laughs> but it will. Alright. So, you'll get to see uh, some of my first uh, planetary landings on this account. And we gotta be careful, we cannot be shot down or destroyed. Because we cannot cover the insurance costs of this plane. I usually don't recommend it. I usually recommend having at least twice what you need for uh, insurance costs, but uh, I don't know. I think it's, you know, it's just like flying. Every time you fly, you're technically taking a risk, so it's, it's a little bit exciting. And granted, this isn't like millions of dollars kind of risk. It's, you know, what have we got into this thing? Maybe two or three million. Which is a bit of work. Uh, I'll, I'll concede to that. But uh, the odds of me getting shot down are, are fairly slim as well. Just gotta be careful with things. But, <coughs> excuse me. Having that bigger uh, jump distance will also take us less trips to get to various places and save us some time. And what saves me time saves you time. Once we're done with these two missions, we should be netting about uh, 500,000, half a mil, so should make things a little bit more worth it. All we gotta do is get one of them pulled off and we got our insurance covered, so. I don't know if you noticed, but our insurance jumped, when we put that FSD on there, it jumped up to 125,000 credits for a rebuy. Which ain't bad. Considering we just added a uh, million dollar, well, almost one and a half million dollar parts to it. Okay, so here's my recommendation for coming in and landing on planets. You usually don't know um, whether the your landing where your base 
or your, whether your planetary base is going to be on your side or on the back side. So I usually head right at it. I think it's right around like 15 light seconds. Maybe it was even less than that. I think I want to say it was even less than that. But uh, you'll get to a certain distance and it'll either go dotted, meaning it's on the back side, or it won't. So. I don't remember what the distance is. But once you come into it, like I, uh, just like when coming into a station, I cut the throttle to uh, 75%. And assuming this is directly, in, I think it was 0.15 actually. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to tip down here. And we're going to come in at, uh, I don't know, it's hard to, to figure out an angle. That sucker is on the back side, I think. Wait a minute, something's up. Oh, it didn't lock it. Cheeky buggers. So we're gonna lock that. And I think it's right underneath this, actually. So you can see the yellow there. And we're gonna try to get this as far down as possible without getting too close. As you can see, your altitude is 170, 160 kilometers. So let's see if we can come around and get pointed at this bugger. If indeed it is right underneath this. Nope, it's on the other side. So we're gonna throttle up and get our altitude higher. Sorry guys, I goofed that one a little bit. So you can see uh, the DRP down below, that's the, the drop uh, where you drop out of orbital cruise and uh, OC is orbital cruise obviously. So what I usually end up doing is just like when I'm orbiting the sun. I'll put the ring around the uh, the planet up top here. And that way I maintain a, a certain distance from it. And see, so you can see it's still dotted there for savory camp. So once that's undotted, uh, so we'll hit F2. And we're going way too fast, I forgot to slow down. So we chop the throttle all the way, and we're going to do a little bit of circle maneuver like we did a little bit ago. Drop some speed. There we go. Now we'll hit the throttle, bump the throttle back up. So 60 is as fast as you can go. Or excuse me, as uh, steep of an angle as you can go coming into these places. And here we're passing the drop zone. Hope that didn't confuse you guys, that uh, wasn't how I was planning on doing it. We'll try and do the other one a little more smoothly. And you can get really close, like we're even inside requesting docking. And there's the one that lit up. So we're going to do our usual thing of dropping down. Cut the throttle, drop the uh, landing gear. Different planets have different gravities, so don't expect them to all handle the same when you try to land. That would be a grave mistake. Alright, our first planetary landing. Landing sequence completed. Disembark when ready. We made it, and we don't have to worry about uh, not being able to recover our ship if it got, in, got uh, blown up. Weapons. I think that was the pricey one. Yeah. Uh, we can do the reputation, but uh, we're only going to settle for two this time, just because we want to get some credits so we can get out of here and get down to the, the thing. So. 
like I said, I want to keep the uh, finances covered as much as possible. Alright, so, galaxy map. So one thing that I didn't do is you can click on here and as you go down to the end like you can uh, so here it'll show your actual bases so we got like Bowen, Bastion here and I'm just left clicking and dragging Kuntz progress that's where we want to go so then you just plot her out to there that's what I did wrong so we're gonna launch here and head there one job, a good deal. And it's not near as complicated when you're leaving orbit as when you're coming in. I usually go up to at least 45. You basically boost until you get not mass locked, the target's obscured, so we gotta go to super cruise. And you can see right up here it says escape vector. As long as you're over 45 degrees, it'll allow you to to uh, go into super cruise anyway. So since we know that our uh, target destination is obscured, what I usually do is put that down, uh, oops, put that on top. You can see our circle on our uh, planetary display there. And I'll try to keep this above, uh, usually above 45. And then you can tap the V, in my case the V, so you want to tap your, your jump to the next destination every so often. And uh, you can kind of go by your altitude. The closer, usually the closer you get to orbital cruise, the uh, more likely you are to, there you go. And we can jump. So we know that's clear of the, uh, the surface of the planet, so we can go move now and jump right over. Let's see what our message is. Time bonus. 75,000. That's not bad. And it gave us almost two hours to get it there. This one's 3,400 out though. That's a little ways. So if you do hear a hissing, um, I probably should have mentioned it in an earlier video, but uh, I do use a, a vape mod, so if you hear a hissing, that's just me sucking on it. Time we did not. So just like with uh, the stations, plants are the same way. You got to slow down, so I throttled down. Now I can hit F2 and go back to 75%. 
aim back in, and it is 0.15 uh, light seconds that uh, that I go by. The only issue was that we didn't have a, a spot on the surface picked. We had actually were just still targeting the entire planet, so that's why it uh, it wasn't doing anything. So we'll see what this one does when we get closer. So we may end up going on this side, or we may end up uh, circling around. 0.15, nope, it's on this side. So we're going to tip down a little bit, and then we're going to come up at it. And that should, uh, should allow us to get a, a decent speed while not being too fast. You can see how the time, is, uh, time to target is actually going up, even though I haven't adjusted the throttle. But, let's see, there's where it's deceiving. So even though it goes up a little bit, usually you can leave it. If it starts going past six seconds, then you may want to uh, throttle down. However, once you get into uh, orbital cruise and it starts going up, I usually wait till it uh, hits about 12 seconds, and then I will just do the uh, the full throttle up because the orbital cruise usually slows you down enough. See there, you can see even though I'm full throttle, it's still going up, which is fine. And here we're going to get into our glide. And I usually keep it pointed at the top because uh, it's kind of like shooting past it. Usually, for whatever reason, it'll give you a little more speed. And we're already within. Uh, Docking distance. That's so the only one that I see, so that's got to be it. Landing gear. Chop the throttle. Nice slide there. And it does act a little different up here than it does in uh, spaceports, so it's something you'll have to get used to. It's a lot more drifty. Alright, let's get our payday and get moving. Actually, I want to see if I can get a kill warrant scheme on here. thinking the kill warrant scanners are installed out here, but let's uh, dispense with the chaff launcher for now. I'll store the old one. And then we'll just uh, see about having it shipped once we are uh, back in our home station. Yes, we have. All right. So, the fire groups have changed, so our basic discovery scanner is one, we're going to change that to two, and the kill warrant scanner we're going to change to one. Alright. Mission board, let's get our monies. for 50,000 but 
money right now. Because there's a possibility that we may end up getting uh, blown up a couple of times over down there. So we want to have the credits for that. Alright, so. Uh, which one is this? Yen Palang, that's the one we were set to. Does anybody remember how many jumps it was? I think it was about 13, if I'm remembering correctly. Now down to 9. That's a lot less, just because of that jump drive. Alright. Let's rock and roll. Like this one, we won't have to worry about uh, being obstructed. Landing path of train disengaged. You are clear for takeoff. So instead of going into super cruise and then jumping, we can just uh, directly jump right to this target ahead of us. Drive charging. Which is very nice. Clear the federal perimeter. Be careful out These combat bonds, they don't have to necessarily be specific ones from there or so on and so forth, as far as I know. So, scanning targets also gives you uh, data on occasion. Python. Ooh. Uh, good thing he's clean because I don't feel like dicking around with a python right now. Federal agents. Odds are pretty darn good he's clean.
devil, huh? <laughs> targeting this guy and I don't remember what my key section is so we're gonna go down to the power plant and we're gonna commence firing on this bugger that far out.
this can be a pain in the neck in here, especially with all these guys flying around. There we go. Right, we're gonna go for that one. We'll line it up straight down the middle. Wake. That's not what we want. I missed both of those, so let's come around again. I want these two that are side by side. video where I set up my uh, my points what I did was I hit F4 and that automatically pulls up the uh, the next uh, jump in our series you don't have to pull open the galaxy map and do all that uh, bunch of junk scoop off of. Because with greater jump distance comes greater fuel consumption. too fast. Alright, 
let's see what this next one is. Chances, we'll see. Because I should still be able to jump at least twice before I have to uh, absolutely get fuel. jumps left. Yeah, we'll make at least one lap around this uh, this sun just to just to be safe. Closer because we're only making the one lap. Oh, bio. Two jumps. And I'm curious to see this because uh, I don't remember exactly, but we'll see if the uh, turning those other bonds in actually works. Perfectly centered. That uh, that station, all it did was rotate around its axis as I was uh, spinning. It didn't wobble or anything. So I do want to keep the time on the screen at least, so that we can uh, throttle back at the right point. And the nice thing is, if we can't turn these bonds in for for that purpose. All you usually have to do is go to uh, a combat zone or to the uh, nav beacon like we did on that other system to, uh, to get these combat bonds we've already got. Can't say that I've done a lot of community goals in the past.
That planet's kind of neat. It almost looks like it's lit up. It does look like a water world, though. 20 seconds? Come on now. Or what? Oh, uh, this usually means a network issue. Well, I guess not this time. Thank God. Apologizing for hostility for the community goals. Uh, nope, looks like it's got to be in this uh, this system. So here we go. Conflict zones. Combat bonds. I'm pretty sure it's got to be in a combat zone. High intensity. Oh, there's some low intensity. Let's see what we can do. see a nav beacon on this list. Maybe I just wasn't looking. Oh, there it is. Huh. I don't think that counts as combat bonds. The bond? Yeah. Thank you. 
this thing throttles up slow. Right here, anyway. So, in my experience, the high conflict zones have the huge ship, like the, um... Oh, now I'm not going to be able to remember what they're called. It's a big... It's a huge-ass ship, like something you'd see out of Star Wars. But, uh... They have those in them, and it's really... I don't know, it, it wasn't somewhere I wanted to spend a lot of time. Whereas the low conflict, uh, low intensity is uh, a little more bearable. It's a little more reasonable. But uh, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Throttle down just like usual. sure if we'll have to choose a side on this one or not. I don't think we will. But if we do have to choose a side, we'll uh, boost away first and then uh, choose a side and then come back. Oh, there we go. I think it's since we haven't chosen a side yet. Imperial Navy. System Defense Force. Got it. I think this ship hauls ass, huh? Go. This was 
we are quite a ways from the conflict zone. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something that's uh
just like that. Ship down. These things are retardedly strong, apparently. And there you go. 132,000. The 99th, okay. That went quick. I do believe we just got gang banged. <laughs> stay in here but
for that stuff. Target only.
No, we're not getting any combat bonds. Got some, I just don't know about it, but I don't think we did. Park in front of the frickin' mail slot. Jeez. time, right? It's not counting for whatever reason. Uh, I'm thinking we have to pick a side, but I don't remember where. Try that. We'll try shooting some more down. If that doesn't work, then uh, I think we're gonna say heck with this community goal.
I know you do the missions via the, uh, the missions tab, you usually have to pick one, but it doesn't usually word the mission like, hey, we're gonna take care of these scumbags and these are the people you're attacking, so... Should know better than to go with a type nine.
Alright, let's take a look around. My what?
Schnauze, ne? <lacht> So you do still have to pick sides. The more you know. So 
Well, now if we check the board, it should have us listed on there with something at least. Ian playing. So we're receiving 400,000 credits plus school rewards. <laughs> Not that bad, I suppose. This will be fun to do, see what uh, comes of it. I just can't, uh, I don't know, the combat thing just, like if it's an NPC or something like that, which is fine, but when you get that many ships flying around, it's just a, it's just a cluster that I would, uh, I don't know, not necessarily be stuck in for long periods of time. jumps. be able to tolerate a combat zone in uh, like a python or something a little stronger but the, the cobra just uh, I don't know I don't think it has enough uh, shield strength to, to do what I want to do with it
Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameshift drive charging. It's a little risky, we'll see. Four, I got a combat rank of harmless. <laughs> Dealer on trade. Mostly aimless on explorer. I think we had that before though. Not too bad, I suppose. We're getting there. So one of the goals that uh, that I like to set is to get into the Shinrarta Dejra uh, system. Also known as the, the Foundry Foundry? Foundry? Founding? One of those, uh, system. And everything is, uh, 10% off there. And you can pretty much get anything you want for anything you want. So, if you need a... an FSD that's like a 7A, they got it there. All the modules are there, and all the ships are there. 
but in order to get in there you have to have elite in uh, one of the uh, I think it's three years I don't know if they count the CQC for that but it's a long ways to go Not that we can't get there, just take some effort. Alright, well I think I'm going to get back here and I'm going to dock it. Uh, fuel it up and then uh, I think we'll end uh, this episode with uh, this landing. So, I appreciate anybody that, uh, that followed along during during the uh, Twitch stream, any followers that I picked up or any viewers, uh, either way. And uh, if watching on YouTube, I appreciate the views. I uh, would appreciate any subscriptions and uh, notifications that you guys would do. 19, way in the back. And that way you guys can get notified and uh, I can get uh, closer to monetiza monetization, excuse me, and uh, we're going to have a little more fun. Maybe do uh, some giveaways, something like that. It's going to be nice to uh, to get a little community built around it. Uh, I realize there already is one, but whatever we can get would be cool. It'd be kind of like a little friends and family kind of group. That'd be kind of neat. So. But either way, I do appreciate... Uh, anyone who viewed and uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.